Appropriation Modifications An appropriation modification is done when a district needs to change their expendable figure at the appropriation level. Even though it's called an appropriation modification, in the system, budget accounts are used to move the money. The budget account you decrease the amount from and the budget account you increase the amount to must be from different appropriation accounts. The appropriation modification will, will be automatically created from the budget adjustments. The additions and deduction fields on the accounts will be adjusted in order to adjust the expendable figures. Before we access the appropriation modification option, let's look at the current account figures. The appropriation account we want to move the money out of is the 001 400 And when I look up that appropriation account, the current expendable figure is 35,782.02. And you'll notice that there aren't any additions or deductions in this account so far. The appropriation account we, we want to move the money into, go back to the query, is an 001 2800 600. And when I look up that figure, the expendable figure right now is $5,000 and no, no additions or deductions have been made so far to this appropriation account. And what I would like to, move, to do is move the money from the 400 object code into the 600 object code. So I'm going to go back to ACMOD. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use option one, the appropriation modification option. Now for the transaction number, USA Con has options to create a separate range of numbers for ACMOD transactions instead of using the next receipt number. So if you need more information on this, you can refer to the USA Con chapter. I'm going to go ahead and just accept the default. The next question it asks is, do you want the GAAP original budget amounts to be updated? This depends on if the first full year appropriations for the fund are already in place. If you select yes, ACMOD will change this field to the value of the adjusted expendable amount. And next I'm going to enter my budget account. And yes, this is the first item number for this transaction. And I'm going to put in my date. And I'm going to leave the default as appropriation modification for the description. So it's asking me, please enter your budget account to adjust and the appropriation modifications will be created automatically. So I'm going to put in 001. 2840, 423. The rest is zeros. And it's saying that this is the bus repair budget account. And right now it's got $9,500 in it. Is this the correct account? Yes, it is. And what do you want to do with this account? Do you want to increase it or decrease it? I want to go in and change the amount in here and decrease it by $5,000. So, so far it's telling me that my budget increases and budget decreases do not match. These must match in order for the appropriation modification to go through. So I've taken the $5,000 out of the one appropriation account via this budget account and now I want to go in and increase it to the correct appropriation account. So when it says any more accounts to be adjusted, I want to say yes at this point. And it's asking me for the budget account to be adjusted. And it's still an 001 and it's a 2840 function code still, but the object code is 640. Right away I know 
by looking at my object codes right there, one's a 400, that was the one I did prior, and one's a 600, I know that I'm definitely going to be able to do an appropriation modification because these are coming out of separate appropriation accounts. And it's asking me, is this correct? And yes is the account I want to move the money into. So it's asking, do you want this account to be increased or decreased? Like I said, I'm moving money into this account. And it's going to be the $5,000. So now I'm getting total budget increases and decreases now match. So any more budgets to be adjusted, that's all I'm going to move. So I'm going to say no at this time. And then it's going to give me an overview of uh, what's happening. So it's showing that the $5,000 is going to be decreased out of the 2800 400 appropriation account. And it's going to be increased in the 2800 600 appropriation account. Is this correct? Yes, it is. Any more transactions to post? No. So in the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an ACMA.txt report containing the changes that I made. So if I go ahead and view that, it's showing me first my transaction number. So this is my ACMA transaction the option that I chose, which was the appropriation modification option and the date, and then it's giving me the details of what I did. So basically what I just saw on the screen, um, decreasing the one account by 5,000, increasing the other appropriation account by $5,000. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to those accounts And the first thing I'm going to do is go in and look at that 400 level. And you'll notice now I took four, I took $5,000 out of this 400 level appropriation account. And you will see a fiscal and month to date deduction of $5,000, thus decreasing the expendable amount in that account. And then if I go back and look at the 600 level, I should see an increase of $5,000. And I do in the additions field on both the fiscal and month to date to bring my expendable figure up to $10,000. The RECLED report contains an appropriation modification option, which will allow you to generate a report of transactions made using the appropriation modification option in ACMOD. I'm just going to show that to you quickly. So if I type in RECLED at the menu prompt, you will see option D is the appropriation modification option. Also, for ITC personnel, the appropriation modification option will update the additions and deduction fields, as well as the expendable remaining ba balance and possibly the gap original budget fields on the budget and appropriation accounts that are stored on the account.idx file. It will also create a receipt transaction for the appropriation modification and store it on the receipt.idx file.